Now, with you traveling around like crazy, how does that dynamic work with the family? Good question. Uh, I'll give you the churchy answer first. It's the grace of God. <laughs> it hey, is the it. grace of God. And, you know, practically that looks like, <laughs> what does that look like? Uh, we have we have help, right? My my dad helps uh, take my mm. kids to school when I'm traveling because my wife goes to work early before the kids wake up. And so when she does that, you know, my dad comes in, scoops them up, takes them to to school, and uh, and then she picks them up. So that's a good thing. But it's like it's it could be tough for her because uh, I have a six year old and a one year old you know and we have a middle schooler and so you get like every stage you get the wild six-year-old the <laughs> the crazy one-year-old and then the attitude of the middle schooler <laughs> 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 but hey she she can handle it but she'd be ready for me to come home though for real hey hey i feel that bro i feel that again with my wife man we uh once a year i normally sit down with her and, and uh we, we kind of, we just reconnect and go, okay, am I doing too much? Do I need to come home? Do I need to not do something? Like, that's important, bro. Like, do you, how much do you, uh, you and your wife try to do stuff like that where you guys connect and like look at the schedule and tell, you know, if she tells you, hey, pump the brakes or whatever. Yeah, we do it often. We do it often. I would say every time I come home, mm. <laughs> every time I come home. Uh, we we check in with each other. Like, babe, how are you doing? How was it when I was gone? Yeah. I'm about to travel again. Is this okay with you? And I've I've turned down some big opportunities this year um, because wow. she felt uncomfortable. Wow. Yeah, yeah, some big ones. Bro, talk. Okay, let's mm. let's uh, let's unpack that. Let's talk on that because it, it's. Um, I was I was looking on your your uh, Instagram a couple of days ago, and I believe. I believe your pastor was um, edifying you, right? He was, he was, he was encouraging, you, uplifting, and talk about how, that not only, you know, are you uh, this man of God in, in the Christian space as far as the music and everything else, but like you are like a, a good father, right? You're a good husband and you're intentional with that. And so being a good husband, right? Uh, and a good father, you have to, you have to sacrifice. So it could be an opportunity that yeah. like something that you've been waiting for or something that could possibly break the doors open that you've been waiting for. But then like, talk about that, bro. What is it like to submit your, your will mm -hmm. to your wife's to make sure that you guys are, are, are you um, united front? Yeah. Here's the thing. Let's say I knew my wife was uncomfortable and I went for the big opportunity. Mm -hmm. God wouldn't bless it anyway. Mm. you know yeah. you know what i'm saying like so yeah like i'll make sure my wife is good with everything that i do because i just i just know like my wife my god would rather me prioritize her than prioritize the career right if i prioritize her i think god would bless my career even more Man, it's because it's all about priority. When I was a youth pastor, I would teach this, right? It's kind of like button in a shirt. If you get one button out of order, the whole shirt is is out of whack. You know what mm. I'm saying? That first button is God. The second one is the marriage, then the kids, then the career. But if I get the fourth button up here as number two, then it's, it's all out of whack. So <laughs> that's how we look at it. 